Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about LiveWire with database. So let's see how can we use database in LiveWire. So first of all, let's create a new database. So just open uh, phpMyAdmin and click on databases. Now enter the new database name. Uh, let's say database name is LiveWire. Alright, now just click on create. Alright, database created. Now just copy this database name and switch to the project and just open dot env file. And inside this env file, uh, let's add here the database name. So just paste here livewire db username root and password blank in my case. Alright, now save this file. Now switch to the command prompt and uh, let's create a new live wire component. So for creating the new live wire component, just type here the command php artisan make live wire the space component name. Uh, let's say component name is user. Now press enter. Now switch to the project and uh, Let's uh, create the route for this user component. So just click on routes, then we have got PHP. And inside this file, uh, let's create the route. So just write here route get add here the URI. Let's say URI is users. And now just write here the component class name. So just write here user colon colon class. All right, and also add here the complete class file path like this. And now save this file. Now just go inside the database directory and uh, uh, just open cdirs and uh, database cdir.php file. And now just uh, uncomment this. And here I'm just going to create 100 records. So just write here 100. And now save this file. Now just close this. Now switch to the command prompt and uh, first of all migrate the migration. So just write here php artisan migrate. Migration complete. Let's refresh the database. And you can see here the user table. All right. Now just run the seeder, so just write here php artisan db colon seed. Alright, seeding completed. Uh, you can see here, just refresh the table. And uh, here you can see total 100 records. Alright. Now inside the project, just open a uh, user's component class file. So just click on app http liveware uh, users and inside this component class file, uh, first of all, let's create a property. So just write here public and property name users. All right. And inside this render method, uh, for getting all the users record these records uh, just write here dollar this arrow this property name users is equal to user model name and uh, and here because the component name is also user and model name is also user okay so for that just write here use add here the models uh, file path so just write here add models uh, slash user as users all right and now uh, this is the aliases of the user model okay now just add here users colon colon all all right now uh, save this file and uh, just open the users component view file so just go inside the resources directory and uh, then views the live wire 
and from here just open user component view file and inside this file uh, let's add the table I have already configured the bootstrap for CDN here inside the default layout file all right uh, so now just add here the bootstrap uh, first of all add the section and here add the row uh, after section add the container all right then row column then the 12 all right and inside this just add here the card and inside this uh, card header and here just add the title all users and inside the card body just add here the table all right so just write here table and class table table dash a script all right and inside this just add here the t head name here and here just add the column name id name and email all right i'm just going to use these three columns so just write here th id and th name and email all right and here just add the t body and inside this just add here the uh, for each directive so just right here at the rate for and then just add here this property name users dollar users as dollar user and inside this just add here the tr then pd and first print the id so just write here user arrow id now just copy this line and paste it two times and change here the column name name and here email all right now save this file all done so let's check this so switch to the command prompt and uh, uh, first one the application so just write here php artisan so now switch to the browser and just go to the url users and here you can see all the user records all right So in this way you can use a database in livewire so that's all about livewire with database so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching